So we know how to work with selectors, so let's move to the next playwright actions and in this video we will be talking about working with inputs. So we will create a new test and we will actually automate the login form, but again as a negative scenario. So we will be filling the username and password and submitting the form and we will validate that the correct error message appear on the screen. So down here let's create a new test and let's name it working with inputs and the beginning will be very similar with working uh, on clicking an element so we want to load the web page so await page dot go to and we can copy paste the value Then we want to click on sign in. So we want to use again the ID of sign in button. And now we can finally start filling the form. And if you want to actually fill any sort of any input, Playwrights gives us a function called type. And as a first argument is a selector and the second one is a text. So let's inspect the form and we have it here. So after we click on sign in, we are here on this login form. So let's inspect the username. And as you can see, it's input of ID user login. So let's take the ID. And we want to pass it some incorrect value. In this case, you can type something like some username. And we want to do the same for the password. So await page.type. And let's inspect the password input. And as you can see, it's input of ID user password. So let's take the ID. And let's give it a value, for example, some password, just to make sure that the login form will fail. Then we want to again click on the sign in button. And again, we can use the text or you can use any attributes from the input. Okay, but we can just copy paste the, from the previous test because this part is the same. And after that, we can actually validate the error message, which is also the same. So you can either try to write it yourself or you can just copy paste it not to waste time because we have already done this in the previous video. So this should be it. It's again pretty simple. If you want to fill any sort of input, you use page.type function. You will pass the first parameter as the selector and the second as the value which you want to type into that input. So let's now run the test. So again, mpx playwright test and then hit enter. And as you can see, we have already three tests. So first passed, second passed, and now the inputs, and also the inputs passed. So that's it. Again, a quick recapitulation. We have loaded the web page using go to function. We clicked on the sign button. We filled the login form using the type function. We submit the form again by clicking on sign in using text. And then we have just asserted that the error message contains the text, login and or password are wrong. So that's it. And let's move on to the next video.